Welcome to Cox Local Edition on CNN Headline News. I'm Catherine Falk with Cox Communications. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a wonderful guest, Elizabeth Murphy, who is the executive director of the Fairfax Symphony Orchestra. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Catherine. It's great to be here. Now tell us, how long has the Fairfax Symphony Orchestra been around? You know, the Fairfax Symphony has been in the county for 52 years, if you can believe that. And we are just an artistic jewel in the county. We perform seven times this season at George Mason University Center for the Arts and it's a really exciting season for us. Our music director, William Hudson, last season retired after 36 years on the podium. And this season, we have a search going on for his replacement. Wow, tell us more about the search. How are you gonna find these wonderful candidates to replace him after 36 years? I know, a long time. We've been, we put out a search internationally for candidates and we got 249 applications, narrowed them down to six wonderful finalists and each of those candidates is gonna conduct a concert for us this season. Our first one was at the end of September and we have two more coming this fall, one at the end of October and at the end of November. And so during these uh, test run concerts for each of these candidates, they also have a concert talk. Tell us about that. They have a concert talk that prior to the concert where they talk about the music that they're going to be performing, it's free and open to the public. It starts at seven o'clock. The concert starts at eight o'clock. The next one, as I said, is going to be October 25th. The candidate who's coming in is Marcelo Leninger. He's Brazilian, a young guy. He's 29 years old, and he's currently associated with the National Symphony Orchestra. Great, and what will the theme of that concert be? He is gonna do some interesting music, a Brazilian piece, and then Rimsky Korsakov's Scheherazade. Wow, amazing. Yeah, it'll be wonderful. And then what's, you have three concerts this fall, so tell us about the other two. Right, so then in November, uh, we have a candidate coming in, Laura Jackson, our female candidate. And Laura was most recently with the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, and she brings a whole new type of energy to the podium as a woman, so that's gonna be very exciting. And then in December, we have our Holiday Pops, which is fun for the whole family. December 14th, a Sunday afternoon at three o'clock, again at George Mason University Center for the Arts. And we welcome everyone to come and bring their family to that fun event. So tell us more about the, um, the search for the new director. How will that conclude? We have, as I said, six candidates coming in. Each of them will conduct a concert. And after every concert, we're asking for feedback from our musicians and also from our audiences. We had a survey and all the program books that people filled out, either in, on, written out or online. And that, that feedback is so important to us to help make this decision. And at the end of the season, we will decide, you know, based on all these comments, which person is the best for Fairfax County. That's terrific, and hopefully they'll have a 36-year run like the other. Uh, yeah, hopefully it was a really great run. Great. I know you do so many wonderful things through the year. Give us some highlights of those. Well, we um, we also, besides the concerts that we do at George Mason University, we're very proud of our education programs. We're in the Fairfax County Public Schools, in the elementary schools, in the middle schools, and in the high schools with our musicians and our conductors. You know, teaching young musicians how to you know be better players and how to you know play their instruments. And hopefully inspiring future musicians for the symphony. That's right, that's right, grassroots effort. That's <laughs> terrific. So tell us how our viewers can learn more about getting tickets and where the locations will be and the dates for all of these concerts. I would um, suggest that people visit our website, which is www.fairfaxsymphony.org, or they can call tickets.com, 888-945-2468, to get tickets to our concerts and find out all the information about our wonderful events. Great, and tell us the dates again. The next date is October 25th for our, our concert in October, November 22nd, or December 14th. Great. Elizabeth Murphy from the Fairfax Symphony Orchestra, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Catherine. And thank you for joining us on Cox Local Edition on CNN Headline News. Have a wonderful day.